Hey everyone, today from Very Geek. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Fire Force episode 9. Uh, last time we left off, Shinra came in hot, no pun intended, and saved Tamaki. And I've been waiting to see what happened ever since. Uh, that scene was just perfect. Um, the emotion, I didn't touch on it, but the, the animation with Tamaki when she was crying, like how how smooth and like how the way, oh man, it was it was just fantastic. So the hype is here. Let's start the freaking reaction. As per usual, I will distort the imagery, start the audio, avoid copyright strikes, and let's jump into it. Damn, I, this, this makes me uncomfortable, man. I hate, I hate how, like, manipulative this asshole is, bro. Abusing her, like, mentally and, like, oh my god, bro. And the manipulation. That's a pretty tall, oh, Multiple, uh, I'm pretty sure he created these. Look how cool all of them are, man. Except Rekka. Fuck Rekka. Screw him, bro. Pretty sure he created those infernals, too. Oh, bro. God. Fuck you, man. Oh, here we go again. Here we go again. Yeah, man. Fucking. Uh, yo. He is. The one thing I hate is manipulation and scumbags, bro. So seeing him get that is probably one of the most satisfying anime moments I've seen recently. Like that, and when when Tanjiro did the uh, Hinokami, the the against uh, Rui, both my favorite moments so far in anime. Oh, here we go! This amazing animated scene again. Usually I skip these, but this was too cool to just pass up. This is such a beautifully animated moment, bro. The lighting. Oh my god. Like right when she was about to say something, it cuts to black, man. I, lo I love that. All right. Now we're into the modern stuff. Oh shit. Ooh. Bro, the breakdance. Yo, hit. The break dancing, he's like Sanji, bro. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, hand versus feet, bro. Oh, fucking knee in the face. Oh. Oh. Yo, the choreography is on another level, bro. How smooth he went from like that. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, Shinra. Oh, oh what the fuck, yo, the fuck. Oh man, I love, I love his Sanji kicks, bro. This fucking break dancing shit. This man literally using Diablo Jamba. However you say it, it's French. I don't, I, I can't say it properly. Oh, that has to be a thumbnail. Oh, yo, they literally made this for my thumbnail, bro. I'm gonna put both of them pose to pose on the sides like that. Huh? Wait, what? I thought I burst. That which can only be born by the spawn of the great. Okay, so it's like a specific type of flame. That's interesting that he's trying to find. Are you telling me Rekka did that? No, okay, well, I don't know yet, obviously. I don't, but I don't know because I don't know how old Rekka is. I think he's in his 20s, they said. I'm not sure. Ooh, this man with the. Oh, well, got rid of a lot of the tension for a moment. Hey, man, I mean. The, ru ruining the tension a little bit. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, I mean, I can't complain. It's Tamaki, but give her your shirt or something, bro. Evil as shit, bro. Maki's, to me, still best girl, and Hinaba. But Tamaki's, like, top three. Yo, keep breakdancing with him, bro. Oh, he's. Oh, I'm getting chills thinking about. Oh man. Oh man, I'm getting. I'm getting fired up. Oh, oh man. Jeez, bro. Oh, I love the fucking sound effect that Shinra does. Fucking whip. Fucking give me that primary lotus, bro. Oh, yo. <laughs> Hmm. 
Bro. Oh, this is going up before Dr. Stone, bro. <laughs> I haven't watched Dr. Stone yet, but I usually record both, then edit, but... Oh, oh yeah, he got fire powers now, huh? Is that all you got, man? Your arms? You ain't got shittos? Talking all that smack? That is true, he was flying in general before. I was gonna say, man, if that was it for you... To be fair, that kick... Any, any kick that revolves you turning into a sonic spin wheel is pretty damn deadly. Ooh, I love what David Productions does with this, like... Jesus. Like, the... Whenever they have in, uh, interesting eyes. Okay. So... So, in essence... The strong survive and the, and the weak die. And, it says, and the strongest are gonna be everyone that's with fire, or flame powers, or, or just fire in general. Interesting. Oh shit. He's turning himself into basically an infernal at this point. Oh, the homie. Froze his shit. The homie, man, he just came in and just snuffed him out like nothing. Well, nope. That Oh man, it's like Annie in Attack on Titan. She's been stuck like that for like 30 years. A much more whopping whopper of a problem. Oh, what? Did they just kill him? Holy shit. Oh shit. What are these Templars? What the hell? Freaking like fire? Oh. Freaking Uryu? Holy shit! Ho! Holy shit! Cut off his arm! Bro. Okay, now this story is getting. Now, now we're heating up. They just snipe Rekka like right through the chest like nothing. Higgly pig, extend them higgly pig, what, whatever the fuck he said. Are they needed like a, like a runaway? Oh, interesting. Okay. So they get freaked out or they continue to fight. So one of them is a girl, obviously. And then the other one's a dude, looks weird. Yeah, he needs to chill out, no pun intended, but he needs to relax and, and heal. Ooh, man, this is the best episode of Fire Force, bro. Yeah, so now we have an official... Uh, oh, yeah, she's all <laughs> stripped out. <laughs> yeah. Um, What's it called? We actually finally have an antagonist, I guess. Evangelist. Or that group, at least. He, he To the bitter end, he was super intense. Man, they're throwing around that son of a bitch word phrase like a lot <laughs> hey we got another ally where's arthur in all this mess but we got another ally let's get it and a dope one at that let me check the credits because it looks like there's a lot of time left over yep there is an extra scene at the end ended up getting lost i was gonna say oh really so, oh, <laughs> they had to go. I knew it. They had to go searching for his ass. Hey, Maki, best girl. Wait, so Arthur isn't there? I know they said they had to issue a search order for him. Oh wait, what? Oh, Tamaki. I got confused with Tamaki and Maki. They look. <laughs> Oh, so she's okay. So she's legit part of the group. And and this guy. I don't. Out of nowhere, just asking her for her phone number, with no build up.
Aw, uh, feels bad. Uh, in incoming boob. Yep. Where the f is is this Arthur right here? Where the fuck is he? Is he is that a is that a Star Wars reference, bro? Man, this man legit turned into Obi Wan, bro. That's that's actually crazy. Yeah, the brown coat and everything. Uh, what can I say? You saw the reaction. Fantastic episode. Uh, fantastic fight, choreography. I've been waiting for a fight like this because, like, the one against Hibana wasn't really a fight. It was just uh, cool spectacles and fires and then really the one hit KO. And then, yeah, I've been just waiting for this, especially, especially, man, I, I really despise, as, as I said already, I really despise when characters or just people in general manipulate other people for their own gain and abuse them mentally and physically. Like, the way, man, I felt so bad for Tom, uh, for Tom I can, and I'm, I'm so glad Rekka got the sh his shit rock, bro. I was so happy about that. Um, so Arthur's being a Jedi somewhere. He legit has a blue lightsaber too, so it is what it is. And yeah, fantastic episode, bro. Got some nice fan service in there, which again ruined the tension a little bit with the fight, cause it was like really intense, and then it was just like, you know, whatever. I ain't complaining though. It, you know, whatever. Anywho, with all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys do like, comment, subscribe, and share the video if you enjoyed. And yeah, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, turn on my Snapchat down below in the description, and I'll see you all for Dr. Stone. Bye, guys.